every day, billions of people across this globe use roads as the major way to get from where they are to where they're going. Here in our country, we use roads to get from home to work, from home to school, from school to the gas station, from our sporting event back home. The possibilities truly are limitless as to what we use roads for. And most of the time, we have faith that those roads are going to be safe and that we can trust being on those roads, much like these cars behind me. We have faith that the road's gonna be smooth, that there's not going to be any amount of significant trouble on them because we've driven on them, we've taken them so many times. It's almost like we could walk or we could take the road with our eyes closed from point A to point B because we've taken that road so many times. We know it. We know it. But in our spiritual life, in our emotional life, it takes a great more amount of faith for us to get on the road sometimes. Because while we know that the road is there, sometimes we don't know where the road is going to take us. I want to invite you, our ECHO students and families, and anyone else who might be watching this video, I want to invite you to come on a journey with us this month as we go on the road. It's our new digital Bible study that we're going to be doing here at Leesburg Methodist Church in our Echo Youth Group. And I want to read to you a paragraph that explains what this study is all about. In the words of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., faith is taking the first step. Step into the story of the road to Emmaus and discover how two disciples felt after their world was upended. From feeling devastated after Christ's death and crucifixion, to disappointment and doubt about everything that he had said, to a hope and a hunger for Jesus, and ultimately to joy when Jesus resurrected from the grave and came to be with them. Their feelings are one that we've felt before too. Come, come and take the first step, not because we know where the road is taking us, but because we know that Jesus is on the road with us and has sent the Holy Spirit to guide us along the way. Life is full of moments that we don't know. Let me say that a different way. Life is full of moments that leave us confused, that leave us wondering what's next, that leave us scared about the present and the future. But God promises us this one important thing, that no matter where we are, he is always going to be with us and he's never going to leave us. Just like this car right there <laughs> requires someone to drive it. We are like the car and Jesus is the person in the driver's seat. You know, we want to get somewhere, but we desire him to get in there, turn the key and lead us down the path. Another way of saying this is the story of the footprints on the beach. You know, uh, there was uh, a famous poem, a poet or, or author who said that, you know, he sees his own footprints on the beach along with Jesus's footprints on the beach. And you see the two sets walking along and then uh, he looks back and he only sees one set of footprints. And he turns to Jesus and he says, Jesus, where were you? 
you know, that time where you only had that one set of footprint where you could see was when I was in need and I was in trouble or I sought after you and I couldn't find you. Where were you? And Jesus' reply was, my child, don't you know? That's when I was carrying you through that time. So, won't you join us as we take a look at this very, very cool Bible story. The Road to Emmaus. It's found in Luke chapter 24. We'll be examining this throughout this next month, and we hope that you will join us. Remember, as Dr. King said, faith is all about taking that first step. We may not often know where the road in our spiritual journey is taking us, but we do know that God is with us and that through all the doubts and worries and fears and crazy turns we may take on that road, Jesus is in the wheel and he's helping us to correct our, our path to get back straight where he wants. I encourage you to check out the additional video that's in the link uh, on this and to keep updated with our church website where our new studies will be posted every week. We love you guys, and we hope that you will join us for this very special time.